Good morning, and welcome back to KTPH News. Today is Thursday, November 30th, and it's an A-Day. Today is the bowling trip for 11th and 12th. We will follow a 50-minute schedule today due to the field trip. Are you ready to bowl? Um, not really, but I'm ready for those 50-minute classes. I'm trying to get out of here. Okay. Friday, December 15th is the winter dance, so make sure you turn your permission slips. Are do you, you going to go, Sadaya? Yes, I'm going to do a proposal for Lexi. Do you have any ideas? Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to be there. But, but, if I was to be there, what I would say is, I don't know, DM on Instagram. That always works. Mm, good to know. And next up, what's your favorite memory of Mr. Hobson? I've got a lot. What's your favorite? Um, well, the one time when um, <laughs> Mr. Hobson, he didn't know that me and my brother were brothers. He thought that we were the same person, which is very confusing because... If he taught me for a few classes last year, when uh, he was covering for 11th grade, how would I be in 9th grade next year? <laughs> I don't really get it, but um, he knows now, so that's what's really important. At least he knows now. Okay, JJ, what's your favorite memory of Mr. Hobson? Mm, my favorite memory of Mr. Hobson is from today in class, he forgot to print out my Scantron, like out of everybody else in the classroom, it was only mine that he forgot. But I asked him to give me an extra 10 points for the inconvenience and he didn't, and yeah. Makes sense, I see. Every time he gets angry. You know, that one time he uh, took over our AP uh, US history class in uh, 11th grade. No, I just really liked that. I thought it was uh, really interesting. There was also that time he uh, misspelled um, uh, something on the board. I think it had to do with China, but I can't really remember. He gave me two slices of pizza. Um, he gave me two slices of pizza? Yeah, bro. I never thought he would do that. But, I mean, he did, and I appreciate it. My favorite memory was when he took my cheesecake but said that he didn't take my cheesecake, and I come to find out that he did take my cheesecake. What That's kind of cheesecake was it? It was a plain, beautiful cheesecake with the crust, nice, oh man. How did you feel when he took it? Um, well, at first, you know, I was a little upset. Junior, seniors, homeroom. Then afterwards, I was, instead of little, you know, little upset, I was very upset, because I found out that he didn't even eat it, he just threw it out, yeah. Wow. So nobody Mr. got Hobson, to enjoy it. why would you do that? Mm -mm. <sighs> I heard um, that people do like malicious things oh. when their time is ending. Dude, you're not stuff. supposed to be. So, does that make you feel away to this day? Um, not as much, you know. I guess when people's time is shortening, you know, you gotta let things slide because they won't be able to act like that again in the future. You, know? you don't know how much time he'll have left either, you know? That's true. Mr. Hobson is like the friendliest guy on the face of the planet. And I feel like he's always like trying to do something nice for somebody else. Whether it's like, can I get you this? Can I help you out with this? Or anything like that. Uh, the only thing, I don't think he likes the Giants or the Red Sox. I can't remember which one. So that's the only, it's the only beef I'd have with him. When he gets me ice. <laughs> that's me too. Also, I love the ice from him, guys. Thank you. I didn't know that Mr. Hobson gave ice to people. I was in the bathroom one day, right? Right? He saw me outside. I'm looking in the mirror, make sure I look good and stuff, right? He said, you look pretty enough. That was like, I was did, like. Did that make your day? A little bit, a little bit. Not not really, but yeah, a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. I appreciate it. I don't have one. Next episode, we're going to be going into the boys' bathroom. And we're going to be discovering how dirty it is. We're going to see out of how many toilets are unflushed out of the six. I'm predicting six. Um... I don't know, maybe one day we'll venture outside a little bit. Maybe we'll go hunting, a swimming trip. Maybe we'll do a, a news episode in Niagara, jump off the falls, see how long it takes until we get caught by the, the park police. 